The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. A panicking Prime Minister is not worth the cost or the division after eight years. He'd recently announced that he would pause his carbon tax on heat for some people in some places where he's plummeting the polls and his caucus is revolting. He claims this is not regional, but his own rural affairs minister said that if people on the prairies want the same pause, they should elect more Liberals. Can he confirm whether he endorses these comments or whether he condemns them? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Perhaps the Conservatives think that phasing out coal was divisive because some parts of the country had already phased out coal and it only targeted the parts of the country that still rely on coal to generate electricity. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, we are united in our desire to fight climate change as Canadians. We are united in our desire to support Canadians who need it through uh, into a better future. That's why banning and phasing out home heating oil by replacing them with heat pumps right across the country is an approach that will unite Canadians. The only division is amongst Conservatives who still think that climate change is fake. That's right. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Stating falsehoods about our position will not distract from the original question. Here is the question. The Minister of Rural Development said that if people want in, in the prairies wanted a pause on the carbon tax for home heat, they should elect more Liberals. Does the Prime Minister denounce these comments, or does he agree with them? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker. Tens of thousands of people across the prairies are getting the chance to replace their home heating oil with carbon, uh, with, uh, with thermal pumps, with uh, uh, heat pumps, because we have uh, put forward programs to help in that transition. As we pause the price on pollution for people in the prairies who rely on home heating oil, tens of thousands of them, we are there for people in the prairies who want to save thousands of dollars a year, who want to get heat pumps, who want to fight climate change. Why aren't the Conservatives there for those people? The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. We're there for all Canadians. But this is really troubling. We thought that perhaps it was a gaffe when his Liberal Rural Affairs Minister said that the Prairies would have to elect more Liberals if they wanted a pause. And if this really is just a fair policy that applies evenly across the country, then why would you have to elect more of any particular party in your region to benefit from it? So I'll just give him one last chance. If he can't answer it, we'll assume that he agrees with her. Does he agree with his Rural Affairs Minister that if the Prairies want to pause on the carbon tax pain, they have to elect more Liberals? Here, yes here, or no? Here. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. No, Mr. Speaker, because people in the Prairies who heat with home heating oil already are benefiting from a pause on the price of carbon uh, on the carbon price. That's because, Mr. Speaker, this pause that we put in applies right across the country. So the tens of thousands of Canadians in uh, in in uh, rural Canada in the prairies are going to be able to benefit from the transition to heat pumps. That is why, Mr. Speaker, we're going to continue to step up, including in doubling the rule uh, top up on uh, the carbon price rebate. We will continue to deliver for Canadians right across the country, and we will continue to be there for all Canadians, including women. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, the Prime Minister only divides to distract. That's all he ever does when he gets into trouble. He divides people along every possible battle line. He did that with the carbon tax carve out for only some in a region where his support is plummeting and his caucus is revolting. And for 10 days, he refused to condemn the comments of his own Liberal Minister who said this policy was applying based on how people voted. And now he signs on with the separatists to divide Canadians again. Will he instead 
of dividing Canadians reverse the policies that are driving them to the food bank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, we see the Conservatives' approach uh, to partisan politics and to personal attacks. The reality is, when we stood with the 80 to 90 percent of Canadians uh, who chose to get vaccinated, they called us divisive. When we chose to stand uh, with uh, women across this country who want to control their own bodies, they called us divisive. When we stand with the two SLGBTQI plus kids who are being discriminated against, I thank the Honourable uh, uh, Whip for uh, Opposition Leader Whip for helping out to get some get some more, and I ask all members please to exercise a restraint so that we can hear the next question.